You have to come with your hair already detangled, washed, and blown out to all hair appointments. So, you may want to know how to cleanse the scalp properly, how to repair heat damage, or how to prevent it. And we're going to talk about big chops and cone shaped breakage from mechanical damage. So, let's get into it. <laughs> If you're one of my OGs, welcome back, baby. And if you are new here to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? My name is Sundal, and I am a scientist, herbalist, and trichologist. So turn on that bell notification so you are notified whenever I post another video. So we had a vote on the community tab, and I decided to combine all three of these topics together, even though we all agreed that we wanted to know how to properly wash your hair. So this video took place in 2021 at this point i was already retired and i was only taking models right and we did she was a model for olaplex right so let's talk about something if you are easily offended this is not going to be the video for you so turn it off now because i'm gonna block you if you leave it i have a dream speech most clients that came and sat in my chair had hair like this and this is what we had to do before i could do anything to their hair the majority of women that would come and sit in my chair the very first time that a comb or a brush had touched their hair is when i touched it and this would be the first time in about a week the first time in about two weeks because most women do not comb their hair daily which is a problem if your hair is out the only time you should not comb your hair on a daily basis is if you have your hair in braids obviously you can't comb your hair if it's in braids or if it's in some type of updo but if your hair is out my baby it needs to be combed because if it's not you get so much tangling and so much matting matting and tangling and pain during combing your hair and different processes is not normal but if you don't shampoo the hair properly then what happens is you allow bacteria to accumulate on the scalp in the video left in the description box i'll give you a full video explaining to you that there are over a thousand different bacteria that live on the human scalp and i give you 21 of them in the video and another 25 in the blog post and here on the screen is someone within the seven day challenge who was able to cure her scalp infection and reset her hair growth cycle by simply changing the patterns that we're going to talk about in this video today okay because at the end of the day most of the balding and the thinning that is going around is coming from scalp inflammation and the scalp inflammation is coming from the natural bacteria that lives on your scalp being able to overpopulate because the bacteria that live on your scalp are there to help you but if your patterns in your routine are not done properly then what happens is the bacteria colonizes and when it colonizes that's when you get the seborrheic dermatitis that's when you get the dandruff the ccca and all of these different forms of alopecia so in this video what i am doing first is getting her hair soaking wet the shampooing process is never something that should be skipped over it is never something that should be hacked if there's anything that you spend money on when it comes to hair care it is your shampoo and your conditioner because they are your most important weapon against scalp inflammation and against thinning and balding because things like like seborrheic dermatitis that is the scalp disorder but before the scalp disorder there was inflammation and before the inflammation there was a trigger and every single client that I have that I book that books one-on-one -on -one consultations with me or people within the seven day challenge anyone who has balding or inflammation within the scalp they have the same processes at one point they were either oiling or greasing the scalp on a regular basis or they would sleep in conditioner or they would leave conditioner in their head so what you see on the screen is the sebaceous gland the sebaceous gland is located in everybody's hair follicle in every single hair follicle and it produces a substance called sebum sebum is a waxy substance that needs to be combed down the hair shaft because before your hair pokes out of the pore it is covered in sebum but if you're not shampooing the hair properly if you're co-washing then that bacteria that is colonizing colonizes and it becomes overpopulated and that's when you get 
feel all the burning and tingling in the scalp. There are a lot of people who will notice they get white bumps in the scalp. When you get white bumps in the scalp, that is inflammation. Even if you get braids and stuff like that in your head and they're telling you, oh, take a Tylenol, you need to run and take those braids out because the next thing you'll see is a pus filled bump. That is inflammation, which will then be followed by some type of follicle disorder. This is the skin cell turnover cycle and by properly washing the hair, you make sure that the skin that comes up every 28 days because every 28 days dead skin comes up and you have brand new hair there. So if you have oils and butters on the scalp, you are blocking the natural sebum from coming out and you're slowing down the hair growth cycle and bacteria that lives within the follicle will in return make your hair hair thinner so a lot of people think that their hair is falling out your hair isn't falling out your hair follicle is just pushing out thinner hair because you don't allow it to be covered in sebum this illustration shows you that your hair is covered in sebum before it pokes out of the pore and what you end up doing is causing follicle death by not properly shampooing the hair it's very simplistic and this is the part where I said, if you're sensitive, then this is not the video for you. Please don't watch and don't leave the comment because I'm going to block you, girl. But when we're talking about washing our hair and when we're talking about shampooing our hair, co-washing is horrific. When we're talking about washing our hair, using apple cider vinegar in your hair in replacement for shampoo is horrific because apple cider vinegar is a pure vegetable acid, right? So I've shampooed her hair about two to three times and now i am putting conditioner on her hair um i know that if i'm not mistaken um i use olaplex on her hair now her hair is very thick i know you guys think that when you are watching salon videos you are watching cosmetologists rub conditioner into the scalp that's not what you're seeing you can't see the like you once i put my hands in her hair you can't see where my fingertips are like her hair is swollen i'm not rubbing my my uh, fingers through her scalp I am breaking apart the hair that is at the base of her scalp right not her actual roots I'm not rubbing it on the skin that is on her scalp and that's something that I want you to pay attention to and also the way that I tell you guys that the hair shaft only absorbs 36% of what you put on it so I want you to notice how the very first time that I put conditioner on her hair it disappeared right that's because her hair started to absorb that 36% the second uh pump that I put in her hair is because her hair is really thick even though she thinks she has heat damage that she has to chop off in the video coming next I'm going to show you guys how to strengthen hair that has had the bonds shifted you do not need to cut all of your hair off just because your curl pattern has changed because I'm I, I don't speak or stand on wash and goes anyway i love flexi rod sets and roller sets and perm rod sets that mimic your natural curl pattern with your bond set properly i have a video coming really soon on that so again grandkids keep your comments to yourself because i'll make you the ducky of the day and things won't go your way okay yeah so now at this point again like i said i'm breaking up um her roots not rubbing on her scalp but breaking up her roots there are there's a difference and uh within the seven day challenge we are going live today so um i'll explain that a little bit more there for any of you who don't understand but yeah now at this point you can see you don't see any conditioner sitting on your hair you know how when you guys are doing your hair and when you're watching videos of other influencers showing you how to detangle your hair you can literally see white conditioner sitting on the hair you have used too much product as you can see look at her hair there is no you can't see any conditioner sitting on her hair why because it has all absorbed and then i'm going to rinse off the excess with cold water conditioner is meant to condition to protect to prepare okay
make sure you check out the video that I left in the description box below because I do hair from a whole oh, blah, blah blah from a holistic way and holistic meaning everything is connected it's not just a hair product that does it it's not just my technique that does it it's not just the science of the human body that does it it's not just my clients patterns and routines that do it it's everything collectively together all pieces have to hit for things to work out right the heat damage that you're seeing in her hair is coming from a stylist that she went to after I retired I'll have a full video of her appointment coming soon but this is be right before my retirement in 2019 she's a brand new client and again I love this woman oh my god like like what a client love not not on no weird stuff but she was a sweetie but again every client that came and sat in my chair had not combed their hair in a while most women who had came and sat in my chair had not combed their hair in days now as it pertains to our hair and our upkeep and its maintenance and the strength of our hair shaft and the breakage and all of that you guys we have to take accountability on our patterns and routines not being in place because you should not go a week without combing your hair because you don't go a week without brushing your teeth understand that just like your teeth are protruding out of your gums your hair follicles are protruding out of your hair shaft is protruding out of your hair follicle and poking through your scalp through your pores so your hair is just as important as your teeth so we have to give maintenance right so now what i am doing at this point um she already had a scalp detox a hair shave detox i don't touch anybody's hair i don't put a flat iron nothing to anybody's hair until i completely detox the scalp and detox the hair shaft because as a professional right you whatever you want to do is what you want to do but the way that i run my business and the the amount of clients that i was getting i was not going to be held liable for anything that happens because of something you put on your hair right so i have to properly prepare the hair's cuticle so what you're looking at right now all of those different layers that you're seeing those are the different layers of the cuticle so when i'm saying your porosity mattering your porosity is going to determine if whether or not these layers are tightly uh closed together which would be low porosity if whether or not these uh layers are like loose a little bit like they open when they need to close when they need to or if they're really wide like mine because i have high porosity here not because of damage i just have high porosity hair right and my my high porosity hair high porosity hair would be these layers being highly lifted and right under there where you see the layers stop and it's just blank space that's the cortex of the hair shaft that's where the bonds that make your hair curly live and that is where your pigment lives right so this is why i am making sure that i properly prep her hair the most important part of the silk press is the part that social media told y'all to leave out the shampoo and the blowout are number one. They're most important. The flat iron is the least important part of the entire process. The flat iron is the least important part because let's peep game. If I have the right blow dryer, right? If I have like Baby Bliss Pro, they have a blow dryer that I barely use because it gets so freaking hot. If I have the right blow dryer, I don't even need a flat iron. I could give you a, a silk press with a blow dryer with a round brush like for real like this blow dryer is not as hot as it can possibly get right well it's as hot as this blow dryer can get it's not as hot as the baby bliss blow dryer right but if i had the baby bliss blow dryer just imagine look at how straight her hair is right now imagine if i had a blow dryer to get got twice as hot as this i could get a bone straight the flat iron is just the polisher that is it and that is all so the most important part and the thing that most women get confused about and freaked out about is the fact that it's like oh my god like my hair is balding my hair is thinning out it's not that your hair is balding it's not that your hair is thinning out but by you packing so many products in your hair by you packing so many products on the scalp you suffocate the hair's cuticle which then in return makes the density of your hair change. This is why within the 7-Day Challenge, there are so many women who 
change their practices and within the first like couple of weeks they'll notice or let's say the first 30 days for density 30 days for the density to change within the first 30 days they'll notice the density of their hair shaft changing right because they are changing their patterns and their routine and having a full holistic practice and that's what's most important so this beauty that's sitting here um when when my clients that make it to my channel when they were in my chair we had already had a consultation i was not just a regular cosmetologist not saying there's anything wrong with the cosmetologists who don't do business like i do business but i wasn't there uh for vanity metrics and by the way her ends are not being broken from the round brush you see how easy it was like just one swift moment no constant raking one swift moment like if somebody tells you that a round brush causes breakage you have met somebody who does not know how to use one because a round brush oh my god it's just ugh. I just don't even understand like how I was able without it. You know what I'm saying? I could do stuff with a paddle brush, but look at the shine on her hair. There is absolutely nothing on her hair, believe in conditioner. All right. So this is what a healthy cuticle looks like. A slightly dirty cuticle, but this is what a healthy cuticle looks like. And this is what a damaged one looks like. But most of y'all walk into a hair salon thinking that your hair shaft looks like the healthy cuticle, but it really looks like this. And then when a cosmetologist removes everything, it's like frying chicken. She got to remove it because if she don't, it's like frying chicken. So I want you to know, whenever you are uh, blow drying the hair, do not layer products on top of the hair shaft. On the screen and in the lower left-hand corner, you guys are going to see the products that I'm recommending. The product in the pink bottle was from my product line. I do not sell hair products anymore. It is not my thing. Even though my product was freaking amazing, it's not my thing. I'm okay but uh the product that i now use for my own hair for my daughter's hair my mom's hair is in the description box and in the lower left hand corner so check it out right but all that is in her hair is leave-in conditioner you do not need and this is just my professional opinion if it's a product loading hair stylist out there that you like then go right ahead and dunk your butt but for me doing hair i don't care what their hair texture was and i'm about to show you guys a whole lot more uh textures and densities even different races of women i do hair i do everybody's hair this same exact way swear to god i even use camera on all races like swear to god so I'm going to show you guys that it's all about your patterns and your routines because as you can see I am not struggling with this brush going through her hair at all it is very simplistic it is very easy but I also want you to pay attention to her curl pattern and I want you to pay attention to how beautiful and majestic her curls look I want you to pay attention to the density of her hair prior to me blow drying it out and then once I get it blown out then I want you to pay attention to the way her density looks and I want you to pay attention to her hair shaft over the last 12 years longer than 12 years now everybody has been so scared of flat irons and blow dryers but you traded in heat damage for mechanical damage and to be honest mechanical damage is almost 10 times worse than heat damage because heat damage is something that does not necessarily cause scalp inflammation or follicle disorders right because you can have heat damage and not have a split in right heat damage doesn't mean breakage and i'm not saying that heat damage is okay but heat damage does not mean breakage it just means that the you have less softer to softer linkages in your hair because some th some of the patterns that you follow to straighten your hair were not right but do not put oil in your hair it's like frying chicken you're not frying chicken with pork chops you're doing hair right so in this video the only thing she has on her hair at this point is leave-in conditioner when I was blow drying it and now I'm spraying a heat protector on her hair as we go that is it and that is all baby girl baby boy that is it that is all baby girl baby boy don't put all of those products on your client's hair or don't put all of those products on your hair have you noticed that oh I do my blowout maybe your blowout never comes out good that could possibly because there are too many oils on your hair 
oil and water do not mix so remember most of the things that i'm telling you guys we learned in like fifth and sixth grade we learned about oils and water not mixing we learned about water uh, and oil repelling each other okay so for the last for over a decade we've been just completely throwing that out and saying no water and oil i'm gonna add those together my hair gonna be healthy it makes no sense so what my seven day challenge is about or just what i teach here on my channel in general make sure you check the links in the description box because i broke it all of my videos down into playlists so you can go and watch all of them and pick out the information that you need and all of that but and that's why I break everything down the way that I do because I look at hair care holistically, right? But I need you to start looking for the cone shape. Now, this is the shape that I saw on my channel, on on my channel, in uh, my practice or in my business for a very long time, well over a decade. This cone shape was prevalent, and it is because everybody has the same practices if all women if the, if the majority of women who are like team natural which it was the majority of black women for a very long time everybody's doing the same thing everybody's doing the same top knot buns everybody's doing the same wash and glows everybody's doing the same lock method everybody's doing the same um bagging method everybody's doing the same thing so everybody has the same breakage like it's, it, it's, it was mind bottling to me, especially as a scientist, right? And that's why probably I want to say my third year doing hair and I did hair for well over a decade, my third year doing hair, I, w I went back to school and started to dive deeper into science, the, like the science of the human body, because I was so intrigued by the way that the human body works and the way that the human mind works. Look at that cone. And it was so crazy to see everybody doing the same exact thing and getting the same exact result, but then fighting to stay in the bondage that they was in, right? And there were all of these different women from different walks of life, not to mention, by this point in my career, people were, most of the clients that was coming to see me were not even living in Vegas. There were people coming to see me from all over the country, right? I even had people come in to see me from outside of the country and everybody had the same cone shaped breakage. So it's a little bit deeper than hair. It's a little bit deeper than what everybody's saying. It was crazy, right? Even now, to this day in 2024, when I have consultations, right? I have hair consultations with women who are doctors and dentists. And I remember one day last month, and one day I had two women from Africa. One who was just from Africa and then came to the States, and now she's a dentist. Me and her were the same age. And then another woman who uh, was living in Africa like she during our consult she was in Africa and I was here in Vegas and both of them said the same thing both of them were like it annoys them on YouTube because most of the stuff that they put most of the stuff that y'all say oh our ancestors or in Africa they do they're like we don't do none of that they say like they both told me that they learned all of the team natural stuff and all of that watch and go and afro stuff they learned all of that from american youtubers they were like we don't do none of that we do relaxers we don't do threading we do threading and little twist outs and stuff like that when we're little girls but when we get older our mothers don't do that and it's just it's just so interesting to me that here in the states we're like oh yeah you can only do this you can only do that but then in other countries the countries that we're saying that we're modeling ourselves after they don't do none of the stuff that we do and if they do it they're only copying it's not because it's what they've always done culturally right so and this is not coming out of my mouth i'm actually gonna have both of them on the channel really soon i'm just getting i'm, I'm just doing other stuff but they're both going to be on the channel really soon. So if there's going to be anybody in the comments like, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, you can talk to them about it because I'm just repeating what they told me in our consultations. I'm not from Africa, never been to Africa. So I wouldn't know. That's what both of them told me. And neither one of them know each other. It was two separate calls. Okay. So at this point, 
um, done straightening her hair. And now this was always the point of my consultations where I showed my clients what I saw. She had already seen the hair shaft disorder under the microscope, but I showed them under the microscope and then I showed them visually so they could see the difference and mentally get that in their head. Like what you see with the naked eye when your hair is swollen, what you see when your hair is stretched out and what you see under an electron microscope, what you see as the reality of your hair are two completely different things. And again, this was the cone shape that I saw on a regular basis. If I have 10 new clients a day, 10 brand new clients a day, nine of them have this. Yeah. And I'm not, it's no exaggeration. And the majority, she was one of the women that were like, let's go get it off. Any woman that came, that made it to my channel is one that was like, yes, yeah, then let's do it. But guess what y'all? A lot of them never made it to the channel. If I'm saying that out of, out of 10 clients a day, uh, nine of them had it, right? Out of those nine, maybe three of those nine people let me get rid of it. The rest of them was like, no, I'm going to grow it out. And then they would hit me up like six months later and then be like, all right, Sian, I need to do a real big chop. And it was something that happened like year after year after year. And after 15 years of it, I was like, hey, I'm OK. <laughs> I'm going to do something else. I'm going to transition to another field or another area of cosmetology. So I really hope that that makes sense. I have another two videos like that explain more about why I no longer do hair. So check those videos out in the description box below. But yeah, um, this way that I am cutting her hair right now, I always cut with the tips of my shears. And that is because I'm not cutting hair just to be cutting hair or like doing a cute vanity metric hairstyle. No, I'm cutting a hair shaft disorder away. So most of the time I'm sliding point cutting, even if it looks like I'm straight cutting. And that's because there's breakage and different lengths that you can't see with the camera underneath. If I put the camera at a different angle, then you will probably be able to see it, but you're not able to see it right now. But again, now I'm just getting my guide set. Uh, a lot of videos that I'll see, the haircut will be done here. Absolutely not. This is just the guy, the baseline. So now I'm going to go up and throughout her hair and give her layers. Layers is the easiest way to get rid of the majority of the splits from your hair shaft disorder while maintaining the majority of your length. If you want to grow the layers out at one point, if that's what you want to do, you can do it. But whatever. It's the way that I get rid of breakage. And I remember back in the days, right? When this video was on my channel, people would be like, oh my God, I hate layers. Why do cosmetologists love cutting layers? Because y'all hair is damaged and y'all hair is 50 million, kabillion different lengths, my baby. So cutting layers is the only way that we can maintain and keep the majority of the hair on your head. Creating layers is a different way to create illusion, right? So we can create layers at a 90 degree angle, a 45 degree angle, or 180 degree angle, depending on the amount of damage that you have. But girl, do you? You got to get what you got for a poke chop when you come up in there when you didn't have breakage and damage all throughout your hair because you just been doing whatever you want to do, hoping poking around the time. Okay, but this beauty here, oh my God, like she was amazing. And like I said, any client that you guys see here on my channel, they are only ones that was like, yes, yeah, let's go. The ones who was like, I don't know, girls, because they be serious or happy. They were there. They were definitely there, but I wasn't recording them because it, during the time where I would be setting my camera up for other people, I was blocking them from booking with me again. So that was their first and last time ever seeing my beautiful face, okay, or ever stepping foot in my place. So now um, at this point, we are straightening her hair under i do remember that after this her hair was freaking thriving because she never went back to her old ways her hair reverted right back uh it, it doesn't make sense for women with naturally curly hair and not just black women because black women are not the only women with naturally curly hair i'll prove it to you in some videos coming soon um we have to get out of this thing where it's like, oh my God, if we put any heat on our hair, our curls will be damaged. Yeah, they will be damaged if you do it wrong. But 
if you do it right and if you learn how to do it the right way and stop being fearful of combs, brushes, and blow dryers and regular shampoo, then you won't have any of these issues, right? Things will be very, very simplistic. Most cosmetologists don't have like a magic wand. We just follow the science. And we link the science with our techniques and we use certain products to help us through certain processes, right? As you can see, the texture of her hair, she doesn't have very, very dense hair. So I didn't add any extra oil or anything. Everybody does not need oil. Everybody does not need serum. Everybody needs to kill that thing in their hair. There's so many women who are honest with me saying like my hair didn't need oil or serum, but I just want to see my hair looking shiny and oily hair it's not supposed to look oily it's not supposed to look shiny you're not well it's supposed to have a natural sheen but it's the difference between your hair looking like it got vaseline cover is covered in vaseline and sparkling and your hair looking healthy like and this is just my opinion but in my opinion this is what healthy hair looks like healthy moisturized hair moisturized meaning it can attract moisture it gets enough moisture from the environment and lets go of the moisture that it doesn't need not oh well my hair is silky and smooth if her hair had oil on it it would not be able to move like that if i was to take some oil sheen and just spray her hair down with oil sheen the movement that she's having right now would immediately go away hair is supposed to be weightless for the perfect suppress you have to have weightless hair if you want to have bouncy flowy hair that moves it has to be free from oil the more oil you have the more you weigh the hair down so this is why it's so important and this is why you need to book a consultation before you go to people if they can't shampoo your hair then it's probably not somebody that you should go to if your goal for going is to have hair care and like hair maintenance. How can you have proper hair care and hair maintenance if the person who's servicing you can't detox your scalp, can't detox your follicle and set things right? Again, I want you to notice I'm not using any edge control, right? There's heat protector on my comb and smooth down her edges. Edge control, listen, it's, it's a crutch. And when you a player, you don't need a crutch. I'm just playing, you guys. Thank you for watching. Let's sit back and listen to what she has to say. Yes. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, yes. You can't even see your shirt. Oh, let me try. No, I'm just <laughs> And this one I'm gonna see, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna like, oh, come Okay, so. Okay. Can you see that? I'm really cool. Uh-huh. Oh, like that. So the density and my volume in my hair. It's like you actually have hair. I know. You don't see through anything anymore. See? This is amazing. Thank you so much. You look so thin. You look so thin.